Hey guys, this is Nod Lammers from Vogue 101. Welcome back, and we broke out the Crystal Wing mat because, of course, we are doing a updated Speedroid deck profile. This deck box was made by uh, Angel of Alchemy, my wonderful girlfriend. She made this for me, and it is a very cool deck box. Once again, filming on my phone. I'm gonna see if I can bring that down just a bit so I can kind of see a little bit more what's going on. Because uh, I like, I think I like this setup because you can really see the cards clearer whenever I film it through the phone. But yeah, so there's the deck box she made for me. I I wasn't gonna play Speed Royce today at locals, and then I ended up uh, getting third place with it. Um, my only loss was to combo Cody, who after a year of not playing shows up and wins locals. Uh, he was my only loss. Uh, he was playing Tri Brigade X Sabers, and he and it was in the finals him and Gara. And Gara was playing a, another rogue deck, which was Grenmaju uh, Orochi, uh, the Grenmaju Gizmek Orochi. And so three rogue decks were the top decks today. One of which was, of course, my wonderful speedroids. Now, before we get into the deck profile down below, if you feel like checking out the uh, the merch that we have and supporting the channel, we do have Invoked 101 stickers. We do have those. We also have hoodies and various other things that you can buy through our Teespring down below, as well as if you want to see the first place deck profile, that's going to be going up on Gara's channel, and I'll make a community post or whatever. Um, but with that said, I'm going to set the spells and traps and extra deck off the side, and we'll get right into the main deck monsters. Now, when we get to the extra deck, there is a card that I'm a little iffy on showing, but I'll show it, uh, because it is going to appear in a, in, a, in a much different video than I'm used to making. But anyways, we're going to start off with two red-eyed dice, and I'm not going to go in any particular order, I'm just going to kind of show off what I'm playing. Uh, two red-eyed dice, this is the most important tuner in speedroids. I used to play three, but he's kind of bricky because you want to summon him off Tak Tomberg or bring him back from the graveyard with Den Den. So, I cut him to two, and uh, I've been liking him at two. I've, I've definitely liked that. Um, one Terror Top, which... Um, I guess I should talk about my games uh, since Terror... Since, you know, that's kind of important. Uh, my matchups, round one was uh, Invoke Shadal. My matchup round two was, it was Phantom Knights. I played against Phantom Knights round two. Round three, of course, was x Saber Tri Brigade, uh, the winning deck. And round three was Dragon Link. So uh, I believe I 2 0'd Shadal, uh, Shadal Invoked. James, my boy, was playing it. And uh, I, opened, I think I opened Terra Top both games. It was nuts. It was really cool. And he bricked game two, so, you know. But yeah, Terra Top, our searcher, best card. There's so many ways to get this. There was a lot of games where I just had Terra Top. There were so many games where I just had Terra Top and specialed it and popped off. Um, next up, I played two Tectonberg, specials itself if you control the wind, tribute itself to special summon a speedroid tuner. Definitely another MVP card for the deck. Very much enjoyed having this in there. And uh, two is just fine. I don't want to see three. Um, next up, I believe the last two of Speedroid, playing two, double yo-yo. Uh, this was another really cool MVPS card. Um, being able to just normal summon this, uh, potentially twice even, uh, to get back the recovery was amazing. I, I really like this card. I've always liked yo-yo. The reason we play two, I know a lot of Speedroid guys play one. Um, the reason I'm playing two is because it is technically a Garnet if you only play one, but I play two in case I draw it and also so that way I know there's one in the deck. I did end up siding one of these out at one point as well as one of these. Triple horse stilts. Um, I'm not sure how we feel as a speedroid community about horse stilts. I really like it. It's one of the better normal summons in the deck um, alongside Yo-Yo because it special summons a speedroid from the hand whenever it's normal. Uh, it is very negatable, um, so that kind of sucks, but that's also a really good way to bait kind of an imperm before you go off into stuff like Tectomberg, Cart Turbo, whatever. Um, but yeah, Horse Stilts, I played three. It's also a Foolish Burial in the graveyard during the next turn. Really cool. Uh, three Denden. Den. I know some people only play two. I've been playing three. I haven't really had a reason to cut this. And uh, for those who don't know, if this card's in your graveyard, you can banish it and special summon a speed or a tuner from the graveyard or hand. A really good extender. I remember when this came out, this was insane. And I still really like this card. Uh, level three tuner, of course, really good in speedroids. So uh, definitely really cool. 
But yeah, uh, I like three. Another card I really like three of is three Marble Machine. This is Terra Top 2.0, uh, but you have to normal summon it to get its effect. And this is another card I resolved a lot. There was a lot of hands where I had this, uh, where I had like this and Terra Top or this and win, and I would get Terra Top, I'd do Terra Top thing, and they'd either negate Terra Top or uh, pop it or whatever, and I'd just normal summon the Marble Machine and get Marble Machine's effect. So that was really cool. Uh, next up, three cart turbo this is a very very useful speed word it's a level three tuner that summons itself if you control a wind this is amazing and this is one of those things that speedroids needs i also hope and this is a card i hope they put this on some speedroid card in the future or some wind monster where it's like if you control a wind monster special if you control a wind tuner special summon this card uh from your hand um and then you can reduce its level reduce or increase its level by one and then you're locked into wind. I want a speed red that does that. I didn't think about how useful that would be until like car turbo and stuff existed. Um, I just really think that'd be a really cool card. But car turbo special summons itself and then it also banishes itself in a speed red to buff them all by eight. That is incredible. And it did come up, especially when I made Chambara and went for OTKs. Uh, there was quite a few times where I was able to just push with Chambara and Crystal Wing for game. Uh, then for the last speedroid, I played one rubber band plane because it does summon itself and it does reduce by eight. This is a card I cited out a lot, but I do like this card and I do think it has merit within the speedroid strategy. Um, but uh, with that all said, that's it for the speedroid monsters. And before I move forward, this is a very monster heavy deck. If you aren't a fan of monster heavy decks, this might not be a strategy for you, but this is insane. Like the amount of monsters you have to play just to get everything going is pretty intense but it's so good like uh anyways for supporting stuff i played three win the wind chandler uh, i saw this a lot and if i didn't see this i saw terror top so that was really cool win is amazing and i definitely enjoyed having it in the deck um i would never not play this uh i played two hasty horse uh still playing this i like two i haven't really found a good replacement yet until the new card comes out the new horse that's level six i actually think that card's a lot better uh because it is a six which is a much better level for speedroids in my opinion because it lets you go instead of like into kite drake off of this it lets you go into clear wing or potentially um also kite drake if you play something like that but it is i just feel it's a better level than the five because it's a six. oh uh clear wing or qb qb chen chen uh Whereas this kind of really only makes Kai Drake a rubber band. Uh, then I played the one Tether Wolf. I put this in there, and I don't know why, but I put one Tether Wolf in, and you know what? It came up. There was times where I was like, normal summon, uh, get token, do uh, make a rubber band. I'm not sure if I like this more than one, because uh, it is really strange. And but I will say this: uh, I def I kept drawing this like turn two, turn three. And I would just get the rubber band shooter, and that was really nice. That was really cool. Um, but I don't, I don't think I like that turn one. Uh, for the last kind of win support monster, I played one uh, virtual world Nian Yan. Um, I do play the Itelli, and I cited this out every game. I cited this in Itelli out every game um, because if I didn't see it game one, I took it out. That was kind of my philosophy. That's of my philosophy with citing is if I don't see my one ofs. Uh, game one, then they go out, and this was one of the one ofs that I, this and Itelli were two cards I could just be like, out. Um, the last monster is three Ash. Uh, there was no reason not to play three Ash, and uh, I'm definitely glad I put these in there. So, uh, that's it for the wind supporting monsters, and that's also it for the main deck monsters. Like I said, it is a lot. This is a 41 card deck. Um, moving into the spells and traps. Uh, which all the, most of the spells are reborns, but uh, three speed recovery, target a speedroid in your graveyard, special summon it. Uh, during the turn, this card, uh, as of the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card and add one speedroid from your graveyard to your hand. Insane card, I never saw it. <laughs> I didn't see this once. Uh, double speed lift, uh, if you control a, if you only control a tuner and no, and no other monsters, you can special summon one speedroid from your deck, uh, level four or lower and then uh, neither player can activate effects when that card is summoned because it stops tear top, uh, which sucks because this is a speedroid card, um, really sucks. But uh, this did come up. Uh, I did use this uh, to continue to combo because they popped, uh, they prevented me from searching tear top, so I just normal summoned dice, speed lifted, and uh, got the speed and did rubber band shooter stuff and went from there. So yeah, speed lift, really cool. I played one monster reborn. Uh, this I did see, I saw this a couple times. I used it to take a, um, 
to take a rocket tracer at the start of the turn, and then I special summoned uh, uh, the hasty horse and I made Shen Shen with him. Uh, that was kind of cool. Um, I played one called by and one e telly. I did see the called by, it did come up. Uh, and the e-telly, like I said, I cited it out every game, but in testing this did come up a couple times. Uh, for the last card I played, I played triple impermanence, and imperm came up in the Eldritch match, it came up against the Tri-Brigade match, it was really cool. It was like having back row crystal wings, it was so good. Um, definitely enjoyed adding that to the deck, which was kind of a late addition um, to it. Uh, for the extra deck, I do just want to start off the only two links I play. Two rubber band shooter. Um, rubber band shooter is the only one. There were turns I didn't make this. There was uh, there was games I didn't make this because I could just make crystal wing, clear wing, and another synchro. So, uh, but this is still definitely really good. There was for all the game for like the three games I didn't summon. All the other games I did summon this. Um, he definitely got summoned at least once per match. Uh, moving into the synchros. One Martial Metal Archer. This is obvious for speedroids because it lets you go into Crystal Wing a little easier. You can combo through stuff and do Crystal Wing with this. Uh, one Chambara, it breaks my heart, but one Chambara. Um, I used to play two, but there was some stuff. I'm cutting out some stuff. I'm trying to tinker with some things and see if I can expand the, the width of the extra deck to do other things. But one Chambara, and I definitely summoned this a lot for OTKs. There was at least three games I summoned this, activated card turbo and swung for game using this in Crystal Wing. One Hagoda. Hagoda came up a couple times, whether banishing him or bringing him back, because if you control a speed or a tuner, you can special summon it. Uh, and it does not banish itself when it leaves the field, but it is a hard once per, it is a hard once return on that effect. So, really cool card. Uh, definitely useful in various different ways. It's also part of the uh, Hagoda. Th it's uh, these two that you can use to make uh, Crystal Wing. Then I played one Juju, new edition Juju. Uh, I summoned this, I think, twice. One time I actually used its effect to wipe back row, the second time I summoned it, um, I only used it to go into another synchro, but the first time I used it, I popped back row, and then I turned it into a Shen Shen, because I believe I had a card turbo. Um, but yeah, Juju was really cool, and I definitely think I like having that in the extra. The last level 6, I played one Kendama, came up for banishing, came up a couple times um, for synchro summoning, but it was mainly just because it was a 6. Uh, now for the sevens, I play three sevens now. Um, I play uh, Wind Pegasus at Ignister again. I put this back in there because I needed another seven to banish. I found that I was running out of sevens, and that's a really good level on this deck. So I put uh, Wind Pegasus at Ignister back in here, uh, mainly for the back row pop, but also because if it's in the graveyard and a wind leaves the board, you can. Uh, is it a wind? If another card you control is destroyed by opponent's monster. Uh, card effect. You can manage this target one card, shuffle it into the deck. So, really cool card to have in your graveyard. And, yeah. Uh, then I played one Fast Dragon and one Clear Wing. Ooh, there it is. Ghost Rare Boy. Uh, one Ghost Rare Clear Wing. Uh, I usually, I actually started ending up banishing the Ghost, uh, the Ghost Clear Wing just because um, this was the best one to banish. Fast Dragon definitely came in against the Tri Brigade matchup. It came in against a lot of different matchups. Um, so, yeah, really like the Fast Dragon. I've always liked Fast Dragon in this deck because it was literally designed with Speedroids in mind. So, then I played not just one, but, and I don't want to show this here, but I'm going to show it because it is really cool. One, I played two Crystal Wings. And yes, I do have a Ghost Rare Crystal Wing. It is real. I got this from my friend James, much like I got my very first Crystal Wing. And yeah, I, I did a video and I talk about how I got both of those Crystal Wings, how I got my very first one and this one. Uh, so yeah. So, and this was one of the reasons I wanted to play Speedroid today is to play the Ghost Rare and do and play the Flex. But yeah, Crystal Wing obviously was the most important card of the day. There was never a point where I made both of them, but I definitely did play I summoned Crystal Wing a lot. There was a lot of times where it looked like there was two mirrors on my field. It was really cool. Um, next up for the last level eight, I played one Kite Drake. Kite Drake is really cool. I mentioned this in the Speedroid YCS deck profile that Kite Drake uh, really is an MVP. He didn't come up nearly as much in this one, but I did use it against um, a against the Phantom Knight player to blow up everything. Like I because he negated something and I was able to get out a uh, Marble Machine and another card and I synchroed into it because it needs one plus uh, non-tuners and one tuner. So I just used dice to modulate a level and made eight 
and went into Kydrig, nuked the board. It was really good, it felt really cool, and yeah, Kydrig is still MVP, and that's what won me that game. Uh, one QB Shen Shen, I've talked about Shen Shen before, it's a macrocosmos, it's really good. It's a 9 that only needs 2 materials, uh, which is really cool, and you can banish uh, 2 things uh, from your graveyard to bring it back, which is really nice. Uh, so, I really like Shen Shen. This is, was really cool against my uh, Dragon Link matchup, and that's actually what ended up winning me the game, was the Shen Shen. And then the last card I played was Stardust Warrior. I never summoned this. This is probably going to come out of the extra, but I honestly, like, if you're playing Cosmic Blazar, I think this is way easier to summon. This is, like, because the only things you need, you need to make a Clear Wing, and you need to make, like, so Fast Dragon, Ignister, or Clear Wing, and then you need to make uh, the Metal Marcher, which I feel like Marcher and clear wing are easier to make than the other stuff. Like, cause that's 10, cause he's a 10, right? Like, I feel like that's easier to make than, than Cosmic Blades are. Um, and then on top of that, because you went into this, you probably also made Hagoda. So Hagoda also gets to come back and then you get to make a six. Um, because you have the clear wing, this, and then the Hagoda and the tuner that this summoned back. So then you also get Juju or um, Kendama, so. I like this extra deck. I, I actually really did enjoy all the stuff because this is a lot of toolbox here. Um, especially the virtual world synchros, those were really cool. I really like that. I got a lot of crap from people going, hey, you're not playing virtual world. And I was like, no, but synchros are dope. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, yeah. That is it for the main and extra. I do have a side and I will show it. It's, um, if you saw my previous video, uh, my Invoke Shadal video that I got second place with. Uh, the side deck is nearly identical, but it is different. Uh, for starters, I played a huge kaiju package consisting of one Gamma Seal and three Radiant, mainly because in speederoids, um, it is hard to out things, and there's a lot of guys who play who play towers like monsters, so it's a lot easier just to go kaiju and get rid of it than it is to do anything. And then on top of that, I get to do 3,000 3, damage with Crystal Wing, swing right over them. So that was the thought process with those. Uh, triple Cosmic, but my other Cosmic is hiding. There it is. Three Cosmic, back row hate. I did slide this in. Uh, I don't think it came, no, it came up once, came up once. Three evenly, much like last time, never played it. Uh, one Reboot, one Harpies. Uh, I did slide all five of those in at one point. I did slide in the Kaijus at different points too. And three Dark Ruler No More. This was a card I sided in a lot. I sided this in for at least two matches, uh, which was really cool. Uh, and it did come up. I did see it both times. I played uh, one time against uh, Tri Brigade and the other time against uh, Dragon Link. They slothed me and I saw this and I just negated the sloth and ran it over. And then uh, against Tri Brigade, they did their whole Tri Brigade board. Uh, he couldn't do the Wind Barrier statue against me because it doesn't work. Uh, I'm playing all wind and I do that to myself anyways. And so so he did the Apex Avion and I just did the Dark Ruler and got rid of it. But yeah, so that is it for the deck. Like I said, I really enjoyed the way this played. I had a ton of fun playing this. Like, it was the first time... Like, I say this a lot with Speedroids. It's one of those decks that I can pick up. I never have a bad time playing it. And it always feels great playing it. And, you know, I, I think people enjoy seeing it, too. You know? This is one of those decks that's kind of like a, a classic in a weird way. At least for me and my local group. But anyways... Um, Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about this deck in the comments below. While you're down there, feel free to check out the description. We do have stickers. We have links to our Teespring and our Discord if you feel like joining. And if you're part of the Speedroid cult, you know, um, you can check that all out. And with that all said, I will see you guys in the next video.